Guys, we talk a lot about the Mexican players that are already in Europe. What about one that could be joining the European contingent? JJ Macias. JJ Macias plays for Chivas. He's 20 years old. Just debuted for the Mexican national team late last year. And he's been linked to some pretty big clubs. Lille in France, Dortmund, even Leverkusen, Chicharito's former team. Herc, for those who haven't seen Macias play, is he ready at 20 years old? I think he is. He's as complete of a player as you can get. He's very technical. He hits a very heavy ball with both feet. Very good within t- tight spaces. Very good brain in the final third. Very good ambition and mentality, with, which is not a staple of many Mexican players. He's the real deal. But he'll also be 21 in September. And this is the mm. problem with a lot of these players coming out of just the zone in general, CONCACAF, not only Liga Mekis. And hopefully he leaves and they make it easy for him to leave. Chicharito left at 22, so it's not impossible. But you'd like to see these players leaving at 17, 18. Not already 21, 22. Mm. You think it's too late? I mean, come on, he's no, 21. I'm not, saying it's, I'm not saying it's too late. I'm saying he's got a harder and longer road ahead of him. That's what I am saying. Fair enough. Mao, is he good enough right now? I think he's good enough. But my, my concern is that when he, he had a great run playing for Leon, he scored over 10 goals in one season. But the moment, the crucial moment where the team made the playoffs, La Liguilla, he completely disappeared. When he moved to Chivas, bigger stage, he was actually part of Chivas' youth system when he was asked to move to Leon first. And when he came back, he just didn't deliver. So my question is, is this the guy who is a good fit for a smaller team at Liga MX and then he shines? But when it's time to prove yourself at the bigger stage, there's no place for him to be found? I know he's 20. He's young. He's still growing and he's still developing as a player, as a person. But so far, I don't think we have seen enough from him to say he's ready to move to Europe. I think he has the qualities. but I just don't think we have seen enough out of him. That's a bit unfair. I mean, this kid scored, what was it, 26 goals and 63 appearances so far in his first division career. When he was with Leon, he actually, when Leon was in the run in playoffs, he was with the national team. What was it, the U20? U20 tournament? World Cup, yeah, U20 in Poland. World Cup. So it's a yeah. bit unfair, you know, but, compared yeah, to that he could be after there that for hurt. his team. The season so after that, that. That's, that's, that's he disappeared. Fine, he, he was part of the roster and he disappeared. I, I mean, show me other 20-year-olds in CONCACAF that are doing what he is doing. Show me others that are getting this Dutch interest, this German interest. Yeah, but what does that mean? Interest. Yeah, but what does uh, what, that what mean? We're not, we're not talking about other players. We're talking about talking about, about, about You're talking about him going to Europe is what we're talking about. He's already garnered that interest. I think it's there. What, regardless of what he's done in the playoffs or in the little time that he's been with Chivas or not, that's a different question, but he's got the tool set. He's got the yeah, but he's but aren't we supposed to, to uh, what, back him to go? I don't see the, the problem there. Aren't we supposed to judge players by what they do in the most important times, in the most important stages? You and really when, think and when he I had a chance PSC or Darwin care about Liga Mekis playoffs? Well, if I'm a scout, if I'm a scout, oh, it's one thing to score a goal about the numbers. against Atletico San Luis or Veracruz, but what if I want you to play Champions League, right? You can score 10 goals against Augsburg, Mainz, but then if I want you playing Champions League and you have to play Real Madrid and, and you're nowhere to be seen, then why am I going to pay so much money for you? That's my biggest question. Well, that's the thing right there is the money. I, nobody's going to pay that much money for him, and I alluded to his age already. I'm going to use a, an example really quickly of, of Gio Reyna. Gio Reyna, because of his age, can go there to the academy team, to the reserve team, and work his way in. He doesn't have that luxury. No. So it's more of a how does this piece fit right now? Can he beat who I already have? I mean, do we want to go through the names? Right, look at that. Look at the line, the front line. Marco Royce, Jaden Sancho, Torgan Hazard, Mario Gotze, Gio Reyna who's coming off the bench, and then Erling Haaland. Is he really going to take that position? Because that's his position. Is he really going to touch him? No. That's my worry for him. But if you're telling me he can't go play at a mid-tier team anywhere in Europe, I don't agree with that. I think he has all the tools. By the way, regardless of what, whatever you want to think of his national team and the zone that is CONCACAF, He's played five times for that national team. He's got four goals. He's yeah. doing something right when he gets on the field. He's proving his worth. And at the end of the day, for a striker, that's all you need to do. But if you're saying Jota Jota Macias right now, will he beat Erling Haaland? No. I, 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 God, no. no. It's out of the question. <laughs> the, uh, ahead, no. The, the, the other thing about Jota Jota Macias, I don't know if I like it or I hate it. 
His mentality and his personality, this is a very outspoken guy. For a 20-year-old, sometimes that plays the wrong way for certain people. I want to think I like it. The guy who once said, I want to play for Real Madrid. And he was a 19-year-old guy. And, 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 and the Mexican media, most of them at least, were like, what's he talking about? He plays for Leon. I mean, who does, who does he think he is to say that he wants to play for Real Madrid? But... Do we, do we want players with that mentality? Is he being confident or, or, or cocky? That's, that's always the biggest concern with Mexican players. I like the guy. I think he's going to be successful. I think he's going to play in Europe. I don't know if he's going to play for Real Madrid. I wish he does. I just think we have to be very careful with the way he develops. He's on the right track. And I, and I, and I even love the move from Leon to Chivas. But I would, I would take it with a pinch of salt. Let's take it. Herc said about uh, Gio Reyna the other day, right? Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Can I throw one Pump name the out breaks. there? Can I throw one name out there that there is a glaring comparison to? There is a glaring similarity, and that's Javier El Chicharito Hernandez. You look at the numbers, you look at the age, you look at the tendencies with club and country, and they are both there. Even his at times soft demeanor, but oftentimes huge aspirations. The mentality, they're both there. If he goes and does half of what Chicharito Hernandez has done in Europe, he'll have a very successful and career. May, maybe Jota Jota has better qualities as a player, to be uh, honest, than no, Chicharito. he does. He does. Yeah, he does. Because Chicharito is a, is a very good finisher, very good in the box, in space, more very good at player. reading. But Jota Jota is a much more complete player by far. Remember that time you complained about everybody criticizing Chicharito, then you just talked about him and hit him with a big butt? Yep, that was you, Hercules Gomez. <laughs> it's not a butt, it's a reality. It doesn't mean he's better. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.